Thank you very much, Ken Warkerton, down here on the desk with trainer Jim Campbell. Uh, Jim, we've got some questions from some of our fans on social media. We have some live on track questions, so hopefully you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Alrighty, Jim. Well, first things first, uh, we'll start with last week. Fashion Schooner, a very impressive winner in the Dell Miller. Now, can you tell us a little bit about how she's training into the first Saturday in August and also a little bit of your reaction to Joviality taking on the boys in the Hambo? Uh, first of all, I was happy that Joviality's going in with the boys, but there's still a lot of good fillies out there. Uh, I, th I think this year, especially every class, there's a lot of good horses out there. So competition's tough no matter who's going to be in there. Um, so, you know, we're getting her ready for next week's eliminations. And we have Gary DeLeo here on track with some live questions. Gary? Okay, I have a fan here, Joe from Livingston. Joe, what's your question for Jim? Hey, Jim, how you doing? I remember when you first started out and you were training to run the table and the success we had that horse. I was looking at the form tonight, and I see you only have one horse tonight. Stride the hill. What are your thoughts of this horse? Any ex great expectations for him? Well, run run the table is a really good, really good story. Uh, Sandy Farber came to me in 1986, um, back in the good old days when we had a 16 barns here in the stable area, and uh, said he wanted to buy a horse, and he said he wanted to buy a good horse, and uh, it took six months to find him. Uh, Charlie Carp was the agent and the horse and we bought Run the Table in the spring of 1987 and uh, since 1987 I've been uh, blessed to be associated with the Farber family uh, first with Sandy and now Scott Farber if uh, when you see the Run the Table stable that's Scott Sandy's son so uh, Run the Table uh, put me in uh, in a good direction with uh, being a good horse and set me up with a really great family uh, with Scott and his father, uh, Sandy. Now, Jim, tonight you have in race three, Stride the Hill, Andy McCarthy driving, his horse Hamiltonian eligible. Tell us a little bit about how he's doing and uh, what you expect tonight. Well, I think he's in a spot where he sh should be pretty good. He's He still acts like a green horse, like even though he's, he's raced last year and he's had several starts this year. Um, but he still acts like a green a green horse. He's uh, He's got a nice attitude. I think he'll be the type of horse that probably later in the year he'll show his best. Now, Jim, these questions could have similar answers, but one of our fans asked the biggest win of your career and your favorite win. Uh, well, the biggest win uh, would have to be Tag Labu winning the Hambletonian. It was so special in so many different ways. Uh, number one, it's our biggest race that we have in the business. Um, you know, my whole family was here for it. My mom and dad were here. My wife, you know, John driving the horse and all John's family here. And it was, uh, it was, it was like a really sp special day. Uh, and that would have to be, be the biggest win. Um, you know, as far as my favorite win, I've always got a saying, I've never won a race I didn't like. Um, but there's, you know, anytime you win like a Breeders' Crown, the Hambletonian or Hambletonian Oaks, uh, it's hard to top those races. And, you know, unfortunately, I have won uh, the Oaks, the Hambletonian, and some Breeders' Crowns. Um, but I would pick any one of them as my favorite. Gary? Okay, Jim, another question. I see most of your owners are fashion farms. You've been with them a long time with Jules. How's that relation going? Who picks out the horses? You do or he picks them out? Well, mostly lately, uh, the Fashion Farm horses have all been homebreds because uh, Jules has built up uh, quite a broodmare band over the, over the years. Um, when we were very active uh, buying yearlings, uh, it was a joint effort. Uh, Jules and I would go over to the farms, you know, weeks before the sale, uh, look at all the horses, and uh, Jules has a very good eye for horses, and we we're pretty much never disagreed on any of the horses that uh, that we looked at and you know we were fortunate enough to pick some uh, nice ones out we all unfortunately we picked some out that weren't so nice but uh, it was a it was a joint effort uh, on the ones that we were buying and then uh, like I said Jules has got a great broodmare band up there he breeds them to good stallions and the homebreds have really been paying off 
Jim, last question for you. A fan asked tonight, uh, appropriate with the weather we have here, it's very warm tonight, but in general, talk about how weather affects horses and uh, maybe how you as a trainer maybe adapt if it's going to be particularly hot or particularly cold one night. Each horse is different, but for the most part, believe it or not, it doesn't really affect them. Uh, you know, they go faster in the heat. Um, you'll get some horses that might, you know, it might take a little bit more out of them. And uh, you just have to, you know, make sure they get lots of fluids going into the race and some might need some coming out of the race. But for the most part, it really doesn't affect them in a bad way. Well, do we thank trainer Jim Campbell for joining us here for Q&A. And we'll wish you the best of luck here tonight with Stride the Hill with Fashion Schooner down the road. And on the other side, Dave Brower, Dave Little, look at tonight's featured action.